Today, Oregon Senator Ron Wyden met with the Portland Street Response Team. Now, this is a non-police response to help people who are experiencing homelessness as well as mental health issues. Let's check in with our Jacqueline Abad, who was able to listen in. She's live now with more on a bill that may actually help expand the program. Jacqueline? Dan Elizabeth, it's called the CAHOOTS Act, basically it grants states federal Medicaid funding to provide community-based crisis services like the Portland Street Response. Now, the Portland Street Response launched its pilot program back in February. Um, the team consists of a program manager, a firefighter, paramedic, a, medical, a mental health clinic, clinician and two community health workers. Now they respond to mental health care, um, substance use, intoxication, and welfare check calls instead of cops. Senator Wyden and Commissioner Joanne Hardesty met with the team to talk about what they're seeing and what needs to be done. We're seeing a lot of is uh, a lack of, well one is substance use services that make people can get into quickly. Um, and and then affordable housing. What this is is a compassionate approach to community members who are living on the street and who need resources. Now, some of the Portland Street Response Team members talked about a need for housing. Today, we toured the St. John's Village, a, tr a transitional pod community, which will serve 19 homeless individuals. It's a four-year project in the making. St. John's Village will start moving people in starting on Monday, just a few at a time. And coming up at 5 and 6, I'll take you, I'll give you a look inside the pod and what it really looks like and show you how workers there are going to help the homeless community or those who will be living there to, tr to transition into sustainable permanent housing. Reporting live, Jacqueline Abad, Point 6 News.